Hello, this is Dr. Dave Pietros for CDA 3100. I'm going to show you how to do a conversion of a decimal number to IEEE 754 floating point uh, format, 32 bits. Um, it's a little, little involved, and uh, for this uh, purpose, I've actually uh, made this little worksheet here to kind of show you the steps. Um, it involves you to, um, it involves that you know how to convert this number up here into binary format, both the whole digit number on the left and the decimal portion on the right. We're not going to cover that. I have videos out that show you how to do that. In fact, I have videos that show you actually how to convert this specific number, the whole number, and the fraction. Uh, so uh, this is the steps you go through. The very first thing you do is you calculate the sign. This is going to be a zero. Okay. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to convert it to binary. The uh, binary for 100 is actually 11001001. One, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. And 0.65625, the binary for that is actually 10101. Okay. Now the next step is to normalize the mantissa. So what we want to do is in um, IEEE floating format, what we do is we take the decimal place, which is right here, and we move it over to where it is just to the right of the leftmost one, and that's called normalization. Because what we're going to do is, we're not going to store that one, we're just going to assume it's there, which saves us a bit. This is very important. So now we're going to normalize the mantissa. So that is one zero zero one zero zero and then 10101 and notice that we just copy everything from this over down to there. Now how many places did we have to do that? Well we had to do uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. So to calculate the exponent we take 127 and we add 6 which comes up with the number of 133. So now we have all of the information we need to actually um, uh, convert the uh, number into IEEE format. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Well, the format of it is the very first bit is the sign bit. Well, we know that that's a zero. Okay. Now, the next eight bits, what we want to do is we want to represent the number 133. Okay. 133 into eight bits. So this is the uh, eight bits right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the eight bits right there. So uh, the 8-bit version of 133 actually uh, is fairly easy to calculate. Uh, when it's above 128, what you do is you say, okay, 128 is right there. Okay. Okay. And what's 133 minus 128? Okay. Well, that's fairly easy to, to figure out. Okay. It is 5. That's uh, 128, 133 minus. Okay. That's 5. So what we do here is we just put the number 5 in binary over here and fill in the rest zeros. So that is 133. And then what we do is we uh, copy the um, uh, mantissa, uh, or the, uh, the, uh, the, what we call the fraction portion of it, down into this area right here. So it's one, two zeros, and a one, two zeros, and a one zero, one zero and then one and then the rest zeros. Okay, and we convert this to hex. Again, fairly easy to do. All we do is we go every four bytes and we uh, convert that into hexadecimal. So you know the four bytes right here would be well that would be four. Uh, the next four bytes over would be a two. Uh, the next four bytes would actually be uh, a C one one zero zero. That's a that's a C, and then followed by a nine, a five, and then uh, three zeros. Okay, and that's how you convert uh, IEEE format. Okay, give that a shot. And again, uh, I'm going to uh, do another video that shows you how to do the reverse of that to take the number that's in hex and convert it back into decimal.